Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Well, <laughs> sad news from the world of cycling. Another master blaster popped for doping by USA Cycling. Michael Buckley, master racer from Reno, Nevada. Multiple steroids. Four year ban. Some people's ego so inflated that they think that cheating with drugs is a good idea in cycling, but USA Cycling, serious about their anti-doping movement. This was an out of competition test. Test sample taken December the 5th. Michael Buckley, why are you doping in the winter time? Are you getting ready for the Christmas crit series? I do not get it. I'll never understand this. These racers are not making a livelihood and this is not a justification. This is an important distinction. But a Major League Baseball player that gets popped for doping, a little bit different than Joey Bag of Donuts in the Beer League softball team popped for do doping. Why are you going to roid up to race masters? It's not for your livelihood. You're not making tons of money to do this. It's 100% pure ego, narcissism. So you can sit around with your buddies and have bragging rights. That's all it's about. And let me be perfectly clear. I do not condone doping at any level for any reason. But when it's your livelihood, you got to admit it's more understandable. But it's still cheating. And I thought when we, re we visited this uh, subject just a few days ago, I thought it might be a few months before my suspicions would be confirmed that we should suspend the national championships for Masters. I thought to myself, well, it'll be a few months before somebody else gets popped for doping for Masters. It was only three days. <laughs> three days in between. So you're not making a livelihood. You're not a professional athlete. You are doing it for the love of the sport for the enjoyment. And bike riding is one of the most fun things you can do. Bike racing, absolutely awesome. The camaraderie with your teammates. And that is all you need to worry about when you're a master's bike racer. Do not take drugs. I was kidding, so you can unwad your Y fronts, all you master blasters out there, I was kidding about suspending the road racing national championships, a moratorium for five years, state and national titles, with the incentive perhaps being that the masters don't dope, don't race bikes, cheating with drugs. But that being said, <laughs> maybe it's a, a good step. Maybe you saw that and USA Cycling need to take that step to prevent masters from doping in bike races again. I remind everybody, fun. Bike racing is fun if you're a masters. It's not your livelihood, okay? It really makes me worried. And you wonder about what people that are willing to dope in bike races are doing the rest of their lives, their professional lives. So, <laughs> so please everybody, stop doping. It's pathetic, don't do it. Race for fun. Look, everybody gets dropped. Fabian Cancellara gets dropped in the mountains. Everybody gets dropped. If you don't want to get dropped, you've come to the wrong sport, whether you're a pro or a master or a junior, men and women. And another distinction I'd like to make, this is a guy thing. This is a guy ego thing. I could not find any masters women ever popped for doping. So fellas, Knock it off. Have fun. Masters, hear me. <laughs> There's only two products you need to slaughter. That is bread and water. Pane aqua. That's it. You can follow me on Twitter if you'd like. <laughs> Facebook. Now listen, what other solutions can we come up with? I want everybody to comment. Come into my comment section. Please leave your comments. I got a lot the last time I did this. Uh, the last master's doping story, which was just a few days ago. Subscriptions and thumbs up. Gotta have it. Thanks, everybody. Sagan swinging wide. Almost goes into the fence. Sagan doesn't even touch his brakes. It's just an incredibly acrobatic 
save of the year so far. 